Hello, YouTube. This is Bob. Not what? Bob and Lobsters. This is Piss and Moan. I've done too many League of Legends videos. Bob of Lobsters is ingrained into Alita me. Alita leads worst President's Day weekend in 15 years. <laughs> that makes me happy. And sad, too, because I really want anime movies to succeed because. No. I want to see anime. I want them to do them right. I don't. Succeed or not. I don't want it to succeed. I want it to be right. Yeah. And there's nothing produced so far in terms of anime gives me any faith that Hollywood knows oh, anything God. about what the ones doing. that they've done have been so bad. Like you look at Death Note or uh, oh, was it Full Metal Alchemist? They're just so bad that it hurts. Ghost in the Shell. Blade Runner is the only decent one. I don't think that's an adaptation of an anime. Oh wait, it's not. You're right. Um, I'd have to look. So, speaking of Castlevania. Uh, no, not <laughs> Castlevania. Castlevania Season 2. That's a, I don't know if that's American animation or not. It I actually believe is. it is. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, it is. Speaking of which, it, American animation has been doing some good stuff. Way better than their freaking, like, live action renditions of Jap of animation, or of anime. American animation is far better than the Americanization of anime. Yep. By far. Uh, Castlevania Season 2 I thought was great. I really liked it. I loved the exploration of uh, uh, Dracula and uh, the, the path they take. All the character interactions I really liked. I liked all the, the characters. And I enjoyed it for the most part. My big, my big complaints, I don't know... I don't, I don't know if they a, count of spoilers. I do have big complaints. I don't have a lot of background in Castlevania. I have played a majority of the games. I think that's probably that a big way. difference in it for us. But. It's not, because I will say this is probably the best video game translation to film or cartoon or whatever. It's the best translation of video video game to another medium ever. I would, hands down. It's a great step forward in the genre. It's more problems with the show itself than I have what it does with the character. Well, with the, the franchise. from video yeah. games, too. I, because I have, my, my number of complaints don't have anything to do with it being poorly translated from video games. We'll put it that way. Um, it's still one of the best things I saw in 2018. It would have made my top five of 2018 sure, if it was a movie. Sure. Yeah. It, it's good, but there were problems for me. And do we want to give it a rating and move into spoilers now? I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Uh, I thought it was great. I'll give it an 8 as well. Maybe, uh, I think I gave it a review on my page already. I'm trying to remember what I gave it there. It was either a 7 or an 8. I'll give it... I would it, definitely, it good. At worst, I'd give it a 7 at best i'd give it an eight yeah it's worst, definitely not better than eight but it was good I don't know. oh i loved all the different characters so getting into spoilers it's spoiler time uh i loved all the different vampires the the girl vampire the uh viking vampire dracula and the interactions as well as both of the uh the humans the this was a movie about dracula not about the main character well then let's get into my complaints really quick because my big complaint is all of that amounted to absolutely nothing in the end. Why do you say that? Because the side conflict with all the vampires had no impact on the finale between Belmont, Elucard, Sypha, and Dracula. Mm, I kind of disagree because they... Essentially... They walk in the door, they kill all of them, and then move on to the final fight. There's really... N well, they'd killed most of the vampires. No, they had They wa It's... They, so they... many of the vampires had been killed in that fight between... Of the girl and Dracula because she had essentially gotten them to. Dracula doesn't do anything until they show up. Dracula, I know Dracula sits doesn't, in his chair. but so many of his people had already killed themselves fighting that fight. No, they no, because they come in and get slaughtered by Belmont and Elucard and Sypha. Because that's the, when they the play actual champions. You yes, mean? yeah, but so many of the the military, the like the people. Okay. 
so much of what was the army died because of her. Yes, and but that amounted to nothing in terms of Dracula's story. That's my thing. Mm-hmm. Is <clears throat> I'm there to see the conflict between Belmont and Dracula, and it, that includes Alucard and Sypha, and they spend pretty much half the show on the bench, just yeah, sitting they in were a basement. Not a big doing, part of no, that. and that and that's it's my big complaint is they do so very little with those characters. I dislike the dynamic between Alucard and Belmont, not for the fact that they're not okay with each other, but the, bitches to each other. It's the fact that they're dragging modern curse words. Every time they curse at each other and drop f bombs and stuff like that, it drags me out of the show because it doesn't feel Victorian. It it doesn't feel period accurate, and I could be completely wrong not being a historian. Maybe it doesn't feel like it though. You're right. I agree. In Belmont's so incredibly crude in modern day terms. In I like that they brought Hector in. I've played the game Hector is from. It's the sequel to this, technically. Um, Isaac, they changed a bit because he's different in the game. But he was a good character. I liked Isaac's character. I liked Hector's character. Hector being a kind of an idiot is interesting because he's used as the pawn. Was for... Hector the black one or the... Uh... No, he- Isaac's the black one. Hector's the long white hair. Uh... I like how he gets used. Yeah. I, I liked it. And because... Uh, I always kept wondering, is he in on it? Does he actually know more than he... Oh, no, he's just a dummy. And, and he's the protagonist of the game that comes after this because he's turned on Dracula and the whole thing because of how he's been used and abused in the past. And I, I like how it sets that up. The problem is none of it related to Dracula's conflict. It was all the internal fighting... Between amongst, the vampires. Amongst the vampire. Camilla, I mean, she's a cool and interesting villain. It just felt like the Belmonts and Dracula were sidelined for most of the show. You see, like, and that's where I came that's what I came to see. Well that's what I think the is the problem. Like you came with expectations. I was completely surprised by this whole side arc. That's I fair. loved it. I thought it was great and I really enjoyed it. And I loved the conclusion with Dracula, even though it it wasn't the main plot of the whole thing like i loved all of it i didn't come with any expectations i didn't know at well, all what to expect of, it was part of season one because none of those side vampires show up brand in, new season in season one two. It, it, and maybe that is problems with expectations is it's always been about belmont's versus dracula and i like how i like dracula's character big time i like how he's there and he's weary and he just wants to be done and he gives up and he stops fighting and he surrenders to his death because I feel that's very fitting for his character. And I, God, I love the action. It's just wow, so cool. so good. It but, was such a well, uh, oh, I loved it. I loved so much about this. Uh, cause, uh, and I like some of the Easter eggs they toss in. For I love the that this game. was the best freaking anime I watched last year. <laughs> <laughs> Better than Bunny Senpai? Yes, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Uh, there wasn't a, a, They're about a bad arc. Me. Um, the first three from Ben Senpai were better than Castlevania. But true, the... true. I'll give it that. Um, I like like some of the Easter eggs. Like they pass by the picture of Leon Belmont, and it's straight up art lifted from one of the Castlevania games. I'm like, yes, I know him. I beat your game. It's great. Um. Yeah, is this this is serious stuff. Um, calling the vampire killer the Morning Star is it's all right for a pass uh, for 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 a simile kind of name because it's known as the vampire killer throughout the the video game, and um, I was upset by the soundtrack because they they did use bloody tears for one fight. But the rest of it's all original music, which sucks because Castlevania is some of the best video game music ever. I mean, delay the music wasn't bad. It wasn't terrible. The problem is, they had they not had good the perfect enough. no, they had the perfect library to choose from, and they chose not to. It's 
because a lot of a lot of Castlevania is the music. Hell, Smash Bros. Thirty four songs dragged in from Castlevania because people just love it so much. It. As a, yeah, as a person who played the game, music's a big part of it. And they use Bloody Tears, which isn't even the best Castlevania song. And stop giving me those. I was patient during your Alita. I know, I was like, this bitch. is the reverse Alita <laughs> video. I was thinking that already. But um, it was it was really good. My only complaints are the bench lining of the main... Th- the, be- the side lining of the main three for the vampire conflict that really amounted to nothing in terms of Dracula's story. I did feel like it left a lot up to a potential uh, sequel. But and the sequel's already a game, whether they decide to make it or not. Is it against Dracula, though? No, Dracula's dead in it. Okay, it's against it's, uh, Camilla? No, it's it's conflict between Hector and uh, Isaac. Isaac. And I think Dracula might show up in that game, but Simon, or not Simon, Trevor's there. I don't think Alucard shows up. I haven't beat it. It's If I get a PS2, I'll beat it. Because I have the game, I just don't have the PS2. No, no. We're going to hold off. I have enough things to beat right Let now. Let me pull my secondary PS2 out of my box. It's good. And it's a great step forward for video game adaptations. Absolutely. Can't just agree with there. It's honestly a great step for anime and for True, American yes. uh, performed anime. Absolutely. This and Stranger Things are probably the best things Netflix has produced by itself. In terms I've of watched show. Stranger Things. Oh, you haven't? I only watched most of season one. Season one's probably better than two. I haven't finished season one, I'm pretty sure. Me and my wife tried to watch it, and she struggled with it. It's a little dark. Yeah, it's... It'd be tricky for parents. But yeah, Castlevania good. Any words of wisdoms for the viewers? Die, monster. You don't belong in this world.